Hello students. Today we are going to start a new chapter from the book Moments. Moments is a supplementary book for grade 9 students. The name of the chapter is The Lost Child. The Lost Child is written by the famous Indian author named Mulk Raj Anand. Mulk Raj Anand writes about the experiences of ordinary people. He is a very interesting writer who brings out beautifully to give a message to every reader. Today, let us go through the chapter named The Lost Child. Before we start the chapter, let me tell you something about the chapter. There is a small boy in the chapter The Lost Child. The Lost Child is the boy. The boy is the protagonist of this chapter. The boy in this chapter is very much excited and happy to go and visit a fair. So his parents and the boy got ready to go to the fair. So as they got ready, they started going to the fair through the lanes, through the village and through the master fields. It was a wonderful experience for the little boy. The boy was so happy to go to the fair. As he was going with his parents, at times he was lagging behind from his parents. So his parents used to tell him, come on boys, come fast, let's go to the fair quickly. So he used to obey his parents call and he used to accompany them and he tries to walk along with them. After some time again he get distracted by seeing butterflies, dragon, dragonfly and many other objects like there are uh, many insects which he comes across on the footpath. He likes to see all these things and enjoy by looking at those things. He also sees the birds by calling the dove uh, in the grove. Grove means a group of trees. While going, they were getting tired. So his parents sat under the grove. And uh, the boy was trying to go towards the grove when his parents called him. So when he was going, the petals of the uh, grove, the trees fell over him and he was very happy to collect those petals. So in a way, he was very much excited. And finally, they started the journey uh, going through different roads, small roads, in all the roads, people were filled with the roads. They were in all the people with colorful dresses. They were going towards the fair. So the roads were also crowded because all the people from different villages through different roads, they were trying to go to the fair. So the boy was very much happy. And finally, they reached the fair. As soon as they reached the, at the fair, they saw at the entrance different kind of sweet sellers. He saw the gulab jamun, burfi, rasgulas and so on and so forth displayed at the entrance. He was very much tempted to have those sweets. But uh, in his uh, mind, he started thinking that if I ask my parents to buy the sweets, then my parents will think that I am greedy. So he just uh, did not ask and he went ahead. After some time, as, as they went ahead, he saw uh, flower sellers. So he, he, he was thinking to enjoy the gulmar flowers and he wanted to ask his parents to buy the flowers. But again, he thought that if I ask my parents, they will think that this is too cheap and this is not meant for you. So he understood from his experience and he started moving ahead. So he saw balloon sellers uh, displaying different colors of balloons. 
so he there also he thought of having those balloons but again he thought that his parents would not buy for him for him so in that way he saw different things like snake charmers uh playing blowing the blowing that uh, producing some kind of music to uh, entertain the audiences over there so he was also interested to listen to that uh, sound but his parents uh, told him not to listen to that unpleasant sound then he also saw uh, different horse ride and different things but when he when he saw there was a roundabout the whirlpool which goes in whirlpool motion so men and women children all were try enjoying in that roundabout so he started looking at the whole uh, roundabout and when he was trying to ask the permission from his parents to enjoy that uh, roundabout at that point of time when he looked back he saw that his parents were not present there at that point of time he was he realized that he was lost and fear came into his heart and mind and he was just frightened that now what shall he do because he was lost his parents were not in his uh, in his approach so he was crying and shouting calling father mother he was calling in that way and there was a huge crowd people were pushing and pulling him since he was a small boy he was pushed pulled pushed and pulled he was falling somewhere and in this way he had struggled a lot he was so much uh, getting discouraged he was trying to control his cry but still he was shouting and calling his parents at that point of time there was a good uncle who noticed the problem of this small boy so when he had fall, when he was fallen at that point of time the uncle the good uncle came to help him he lifted him up and try to clear the mass mass means the crowd he try to clear the crowd and he began to ask him about his parents and uh, he asked him where where are the, his parents then he was not replying anything only he was shouting and screaming telling my father my mother he was calling his father and mother so this was the uh, scene in, at this point of time here is the twist taking place in the story so the boy uh, the boy wanted many things in the beginning but now this uncle will uh, try to buy for him he took the uncle took him to the uh, snake charmer he tried to do, he tried to buy flowers for him he tried to buy sweets burfi which was his favorite uh, sweet he wanted to buy rasgulla gulab jamun and, and so on and so forth he wanted to uh, make him ride a horse he wanted to make him ride enjoy the ride in the Uh, round about he wanted to give him all uh, opportunities to this small boy which he which the boy was really interested in the beginning when his parents were present with him but now when it was offered freely by this man by this good uncle he was rejecting everything he did not want anything from this uncle he was only the only thing which was coming out from his mind and heart or from his mouth was that he want his father he want his mother so from this story we come to know that the importance of parents when we are, when when our parents are not in our means we understand the importance of their absence so the boy also understood the importance of their absence of his parents but in the story maybe at the end the boy found his parents with the help of this good uncle okay so i hope you have understood in gist about the chapter and now let us move uh, reading the chapter and understanding in depth so students the chapter name is the lost child let us read a uh, few points before we begin the chapter a child goes to a fair with his parents he is happy and excited and wants the sweets and toys displayed there but his parents don't buy them for him why then does he refuse when someone else offers them to him see two two points you need to understand first point is that the boy is very much excited to go to the fair and wanted to buy sweets and toys and 
when you will meet the uncle the same thing which will be offered by the uncle he will not accept it so let's read it was the festival of spring from the wintry shades of narrow lanes and alleys emerged a gaily clad humanity some walked some rode on horses others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts so it was the festival of spring and uh, it was uh, it was in the winter season so uh, lanes and alleys means roads small roads emerged means which came out gaily means joyful clad means covered humanity means a group of joyful people who were going to towards the fair so some were going by walking some were going by horse horses others were sitting on those uh, horses being carried in bamboo and bullock carts so you can understand the scene how people were going from village from different villages through different roads to the to the fair so we are talking about one little boy one little boy ran between his father's legs brimming brimming means full of over with life and laughter there was a boy who was very much interested very much joyful happy to visit the fair so we can see the fair here we can see the this is the boy the little boy and his mother and father and this is the fair this is called roundabout okay and lot of people are gathered in that fair so the parents were calling come child come called his parents as he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way means he was very much attracted to go to the fair lagging means he was remaining back behind he was remaining behind fascinated means attracted he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering looking on the receding toys as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress could not suppress suppress means control could not control the desire of his heart even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes stare means looking with the fixed eye so he was looking with uh, looking looking at the toys different things and his parents were there they were waiting for him because he was remaining behind so he used to tell i want that toy he pleaded pleaded means requested his father looked at him red eye so his father was looking with angry eyes in his family a tyrant's way tyrant means very aggressive very harsh way his mother melted melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him her finger to hold said look child what is before you so father was looking with angry angry face with angry eyes but the uh, mother was very loving melted means very soft very tender very loving kind and she was offering her finger to hold and they were going through a it was a flowering mustard field they were going through a mustard field pale like melting it looked like covered with gold golden plates petals as it swept across miles and miles of even land so you can visualize the mustard uh, field it was a very big plot of land a group of dragon flies were bustling making sound about on their gaudy purple wings intercepting intercepting means stopping the flight of lone ba black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness sweetness means nectar from the flowers so the boy was trying to catch the dragon flies and uh, and stopping them to fly the child followed them in the air with his gaze gaze means looking till one of them would steal its wings and rest and he would try to catch it but it would not but it would go fluttering flapping up into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands then his mother gave a cautionary call cautionary call means mother is to give me a reminder call reminder that is the mother is to call come child come on to the footpath so he was busy trying to catch dragon flies and butterflies trying to stop them fly in the air so but, uh, his mother is to call him he ran towards his parents gaily joyfully and walked abreast abreast means going walking along with them abreast of them for a while being however soon left behind after some time again he forgets and he remained back behind attracted by the little insects and worms he was getting attracted 
at the insects and worms along the food path that were teeming out teeming out means coming out that were coming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine come chai come his parents called from the shade of a grove grove means a group of trees where they had seated themselves on the edge of a well he ran towards them whenever he is to whenever his parents is to call him he is to run towards them at that point of time when they were where they were sitting under a grove a shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the grove and forgetting his parents he began to gather the raining petals in his hands raining petals means the uh, petals the flower petals which was falling over him from the grove grove means a group of trees but lord but lo he heard the cooing of doves and the meanwhile he heard the cooing of doves doves is a kind of birds kind of bird so he was cooing and ran towards his parents shouting da 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 calling the name of bird the raining petals drop from his forgotten hands come child come they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers round the boy was playing around the banyan tree and on the banyan tree and gathering him up they took the narrow winding path which led to the fair to the mustard fields so they after taking rest under the grove under the grove of trees they stood up and started going toward through the narrow winding road put path zigzag path which led to the fair through the mustard fields as they neared the village the child could see many other food paths full of throngs full of throngs means full of people on the road converging gathering to the whirlpool of the fair all the people in different paths food paths or paths they were going towards the fair and fell at once repelled pulled and fascinated attracted by the confusion of the world he was entering so the fair was like a new world for him so as they came near to the fair a sweet meat a sweet seller seller hot selling gulab jamun rasgulla barfi jalebi at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed round his counter at the food a lot of people were buying sweets there was a huge crowd in front of the sweet seller of an architecture of many colored sweets decorated with leaves of silver and color so the sweets were covered with silver and gold leaves decorated the child stared stared with looking with a fixed eye open eye and his mouth water water was coming out from his mouth because he wants to have those sweets what water for the barfi that was his favorite sweet so which was his favorite dish a favorite sweet barfi barfi that was his favorite sweet i want that barfi he slowly murmured softly he was murmuring but he half knew as he begged that his plea please request would not be heeded would not be heard he did miss pay attention but here not be he did miss it will not be heard he want to have the sweets but in his heart he and mind he came to know that his parents are not going to buy for him so he remain quiet because his parents would think that he is very greedy that's why he is asking so without waiting for an answer he moved on a flower seller hopped a garland of gulmohar a garland of gulmohar the child seemed irresistibly drawn He went towards the basket where the flowers lay heap and half murmured, "I want that garland." But he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap. Uh, so without waiting for an answer, he moved on. So he he saw a flower seller selling gulmohar, garland, and all. He wanted to have those flowers, but he understood that his parents would not buy for him. That's why he remained quiet and he started moving forward. A man stood holding a pole with yellow, red, green, and purple balloons flying from it. The child was simply carried away, being attracted by the rainbow glory of the silken colors, and he was filled with an overwhelming, overexcited desire to possess them all. So he wanted to have the balloons also with different colors. But he well know, but he already knew that his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play with such toys. so he walked on further so he uh, went further as after that he met a, he saw a snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket its head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan 
So the snake looked like a swan uh, because of his head. While the music stole in, into his invisible, invisible waterfall. While the music stole into, into his invisible ears, like the gentle rippling of an invisible waterfall. The child went towards the snake charmer, but knowing his parents had forbidden him, forbidden means told him not to go listen to the harsh voice. To hear such chords, chords means rough voice music as the snake charmer played, he proceeded further. So his father had already, his parents had already told him not to listen to that rough music of a snake charmer. So now there will be a twist in the story. Now there was a roundabout. I will round about in full swing. Round about I will show you quickly. Round about I will show you quickly. Okay. Let me show you the round about. Yes, here is the round about. This is called round about. So this is called round about. So the child wanted to enjoy the round about. And at that point of time when he will try to look back, he will see that his parents were not there. So there was a roundabout in full swing. Men, women and children carried away in a whirling motion, shrieked and cried with dizzy laughter. The child watched them intently, closely and then he made a bold request. I want to go on the roundabout. Please father, mother. So he wanted to enjoy that uh, roundabout. At that point of time when he looked back, there was no reply. He turned to look at his parents. They were not there. I of him. He turned to look on either side. They were not there. He looked behind. There was no sign of them. A full deep cry rose within his dry throat and with a sudden jerk of his body, he ran from here where he stood, crying in real fear. Mother, father, tears rolled down from his eyes, hot and fear. His flushed face was convulsed, covered, filled with fear, panic stricken. He ran to one side first, then to the other, hither and hither, here and there. He wailed, he cried, his yellow turban came un untied and his clothes became muddy. So he was really worried. Now he thought, he realized that he's lost and is really getting frightened. Having run to and fro, to and fro means going forward and backward in the rage of running for a while. He stood defeated, he got discouraged. His cry suppressed. He was trying to control his cry at little distances. On the green grass, he could see through his friendly eyes, men and women talking. He tried to look intently, closely among the patches of the bright yellow clothes, but there was no sign of his father and mother among these people who seemed to laugh and talk just for the sake of laughing and talking. He ran quickly again, this time to a shrine to which a shrine is like a temple to which people seemed to be crowding. People were crowded near the shrine. Every little inch of space here was congested. Congested means crowded with men, but in men. But he ran through people's legs. His little song lingering, moving. He, he was looking here and there. Mother, father, near the entrance to the temple. However, the crowd became very thick. Means the crowd was becoming huge and huge. Men jostled. Pushing, uh, and pushing, jostling each other, heavy men with flashing, murderous eyes and hefty shoulders, fat people. The poor child struggled to thrust away between their feet, but not to and fro. He was not to and fro because there was a huge crowd and there were people who were very fat and he could not uh, get the way to go ahead by the brutal movements, very harsh movements. He might have. Peach, uh, he might have been trampled under food. Trampled means walked over and he not shrieked at the and he not shrieked at the highest pitch of his voice. Father, mother, a man in the surging crowd heard his cry. So there was a good uncle who heard the voice of this cry of this boy and stooping, stooping means bending with great difficulty lifted him up in his arms. So he hold, he held him up in his arms, that good uncle. Then he asked him, how did you get here, child? Whose baby are you? The man asked as he steered clear of the mass. Mass means crowd. So he hold, he held the boy on his arms and uh, tried to clear the crowd. 
the child wept more bitterly. Bitterly means very bad, badly. He was crying very loudly. Then ever now and only cry. I want my mother. I want my father. This was the cry. The man tried to soothe him, comfort him by taking him to the roundabout. See the round. He wanted to enjoy the roundabout. At that point of time, he got lost. So now the man was taking him to the uncle was taking him to the roundabout. Will you have a ride on the horse? He gently asked. As he approached the ring, as he came near to the ring, approach means coming nearer. The child's throat tore into a thousand shrill sobs, and he only shouted, "I want my mother! I want my father!" The only call was coming from his mouth was his father and mother. So you can see the picture here, the roundabout. You can see this roundabout. See. Uh, when he was asking for the roundabout, that time only he got lost. So you can see the snake charmer here. You can see the people, the good uncle. You can see here. This is the boy who was crying. The see here. The man headed towards the place where the snake charmer still played on the flute to the swaying cobra. Listen to that nice music, child. He pleaded, he requested. So the uncle was requesting the boy to listen to the uh, uh, snake charmer's uh, music. But the child shut his ears with his finger and shouted his double piece string. Double piece string means all the more loudly he started calling his, calling his father and mother. I want my mother. I want my father. The man looked. The man took him near the balloon, thinking the bright colors of the balloons would distract the child's attention and quieten him. Would you like a rainbow colored balloon? He persuasively asked. The child turned his eyes from the flying balloons. And just sobbed. Sobbed means started crying. So he's not interested about any things now. Only in, uh, the only matter of interest is for his parents, father and mother. I want my mother. I want my father. The man still tried to make the child happy. Bore him, brought him to the gate where the flower seller sat. The flower seller was selling gulbahar, look garlands. Look, can you smell those nice flowers, child? Would you like a garland to put around your neck? The child turned his nose away from the basket and reiterated, repeated his sob. I want my mother. I want my father. Thinking to humor his disconsolate charge by a gift of sweets, the man took him to the counter of the sweet, uh, sweet shop. What sweets would you like, child? He asked. The child turned his face from the sweet shop and only saw saw this crying. I want my mother. I want my father. So the only line which he remembers is, "I want my mother, I want my father. I want my mother, I want my father." So this was the only uh, uh, demand of the child. So from this child, from this story, we come to know the importance of parents in her in their absence. Like the boy realized uh, the absence of the, his parents, he was totally frightened and he was. Looking for, searching for his parents, but he could not find him anywhere. However, at the end, he must have found his parents with the help of, uh, with the help of this good uncle. So, hope you have understood this chapter, and uh, you will do your question answer in a very beautiful manner.